there's a bit of a double standard. Like if, if um, it's okay for men to cheat and wives are often expected to take them back. But um, it's really different if a woman wants to sow a wild oats or something like that. Like that, they are seen as really different. Um, and I think that that's a bit wrong. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Alexander Grace with Red Pill Interviews. I'm here at City Beach in Western Australia and today I'm going to be asking girls about the Red Pill concept that says women are incapable of appreciating a man's sacrifice. According to the Red Pill community, women are incapable of appreciating the sacrifices men make in their relationships. An example of this could be men in a relationship who repress their limitless ambition and focus instead on financially providing for them both. Another example would be the man who sacrifices his biological need for sexual freedom and variety and instead settles into a monogamous relationship. According to the Red Pill community, society has become so ingrained with the idea that what is good for women is also what's moral, that these sacrifices made by men are not appreciated, it's simply what's expected of them. They say that women are inherently solipsistic and have difficulty seeing things from a male perspective. Some within the Red Pill community respond to this lack of appreciation by no longer entering into long-term relationships with women. For others, they simply counsel to stop expecting to be thanked or appreciated. Do you have any thoughts? Um, I just reckon that women are always in need of attention and I get that, that that's a thing that people want. I'm not sure that's true. I think it's just this generation that's kind of changing everything. Men are appreciated, I think. Like, it's just up to them whether or not they want to work, like, the full time. We kind of just want men to understand what our point of view is and I feel that they don't really kind of understand it sometimes because it's a different state of mind and it's different everything so yeah and there's lots of sacrifices that women make as well <laughs> we, go. we won't even go there with like bodies and careers and yeah. money and all that sort of stuff but um that same thing can go for for women you know they're not um adhering to what men expect so yeah i just think you should go into a relationship open-minded and sort of enjoy spending time with that person I think every single person is different. I think um, every single girl is different, every guy is different. I'm personally in a relationship where it's very sort of equal. We're very expressive about how thankful we are for each other and we appreciate each other. So I think don't rule out all women. I mean, yeah, I agree. Like, one, it shouldn't be a male's <laughs> job to look after anyone other than themselves. Um, they, they shouldn't financially be looking after their girlfriend. I think that's really dumb. But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, I feel like people, yeah, totally don't appreciate the fact that apparently it's just normal to do all of that. Do you think it's true that women have difficulty seeing things from a male perspective? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. Men say that women overanalyze things, and like, to be honest, we do overanalyze. As much as men have difficulty seeing things from a woman's perspective, yeah, definitely, because we're obvious we're way more in touch with our kind of feelings and we want to talk about our feelings all the time whereas guys are sometimes happy to just sort of write it out. I mean yeah it kind of is hard to see something from a perspective that you're never actually going to have but I mean you should be able to somewhat understand it but I feel like a lot of people don't. No I don't think that there's like I don't have difficulty looking at things from like male perspective like I've got a lot of close guy friends and just you just know what they are thinking all the time it's so easy to read boys like <laughs> if a man does trade in his ambition so he can provide for a wife and family do you think that is seen as a sacrifice that should be appreciated or just what he's expected to do uh i definitely think it should be appreciated but like a lot of people just expect it no it's definitely something that should be appreciated for sure definitely like having like them go to work and stuff and not being able to spend as much time with their kids and stuff obviously that's like a big thing my personal view is i don't expect that i think it should be appreciated like um just like anything we do if if he's stuck in a nine to five job that he hates um because his wife's on maternity leave um you don't feel for him um yeah it's definitely something that should be appreciated um it's it's definitely a sacrifice. I think that people are just lucky if they're able to stay at, like, have their husbands or something go off and work for them and, like, be able to stay at home with the kids. That is lucky and, like, I think a lot of people appreciate that. It should be appreciated on both sides. If either, um, you know, woman or man gives up their ambition to support the family and stuff, you know, that's that should be appreciated regardless of gender or anything, I think. 
What about the man who sacrifices his desire for sexual freedom and variety? Should this be appreciated or is it just what's expected of him? I think that's what's expected. Well, if you're in a relationship, that's what's expected of him. Like, that's what I would expect in a relationship. I think if you agree to a monogamous marriage, I don't think that it should be appreciated that you don't cheat. But if you, <laughs> because that's what you sign up for. Yeah, I feel, I feel like um, we've all evolved sort of the same and I think guys in this day and age don't really want to, they're not really keen to impregnate women as soon as they can. I think, yeah, in the caveman ages, yeah, but I think we've like grown together. If you genuinely care deep enough about that person and you want to be with them seriously, then you wouldn't even be thinking about being with someone else. I guess it's his choice. As long. I don't think, I don't know, it's, it's not a sacrifice. If you going into a relationship then you're kind of committing to that like if you want variety and to be able to do whatever you want then maybe don't get into a committed relationship like it seems pretty straightforward at a society level do you think women adequately appreciate the sacrifices men make to accommodate women yeah i mean i guess i mean i would i don't know about any other women but i would appreciate it um, well, I don't think anyone should be making sacrifices to accommodate anyone. Not all the time, no. I think there's a lot of um, a lot of women out there that um, maybe become complacent with how their relationship is. I think sometimes we do. <laughs> um, in certain aspects, I reckon we do, but it's not all the time. You don't expect to get a medal for every single little sacrifice that you do. Women don't appreciate what they have sometimes, I guess, because they're sort of always pushing for something more. Yes. I don't know how, how many sacrifices do they make, though. I feel like it's a equal sort of a... I think women sacrifice things to be with men and sacrifice things to be with women. I think it's appreciated. Do you personally feel that you appreciate the sacrifices a man makes to be in a relationship with you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I do, but I'm also one of those people that in the past as well haven't realised that until later. Yes. I don't like this word sacrifice though. Why does it have to be a sacrifice? Why does he not just want to be in a relationship and she wants to be in a relationship, you know? I don't think I've ever been in a relationship with someone who's had to make sacrifices. It's like, well, if you get to that point where you're like, oh shit, this isn't working out, like, someone's going to have to make sacrifices, it's like, well... Is it worth changing who you are as a person to be with someone? Probably not. You probably just don't work. <laughs> That's part of a relationship. That's why you would get into a relationship in the first place. So if you're not wanting to make sacrifices for each other, then you need to think about what you're doing. Yeah. What's the racist yeah. Thing? <laughs> um, I think. I actually don't know. I think that. What do you think that? It's the sacrifices you make. She in a relationship. I do you know why it's no comment. <laughs> no, it's a very good question and I probably don't see all of them. Or maybe not yet. Because we're still young and there's more to come, I guess. What do you think of the way some red pill men have responded to this lack of appreciation by giving up hope of ever being appreciated or even giving up on relationships altogether? That's dramatic. I reckon it's a bit I wanna say over dramatic, but I don't mean it in that kind of sense. Sad, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he's just doing something wrong. I think that's just them giving up on like love. Like, just, you have to work for it a little bit. It's just, like, you have to make compromises and everything. Like, it's not easy on our end as well as what's easy on their end. Like, there's hard things about both lives. <laughs> it sounds like the people, the men that are giving up relationships. It sounds like they really, really need to be rewarded all the time and they always need constant praise and stuff like that like if if you can't get through a relationship without ha like you know both compromising you don't expect to constantly be validated the whole time yeah. like it sounds like they yeah got mommy issues someone that was like oh just never works out i may as well just give up now it's like no no 
<laughs> just because it didn't work a couple of times doesn't mean you just give up altogether. Because if you just did that with every single part of your life, you just never get anywhere. Oh, you, you're suppressing your biological urge or you're stuck in a job that you hate, but it's not my fault, you know? You need to be open to relationships because if you're not, you're going to close yourself off. And when you do find that person that potentially you could be with in that way, um, you know, then it's not going to happen. So I mean, if it's got to the point where you feel really underappreciated and everything you do sort of gets missed and stuff, then yeah, okay, leave, leave a toxic sort of environment. What advice would you give to men who don't feel appreciated in their relationships? Talk about it. Like, oh, yeah. like if, if you can't expect your partner to be a mind reader, talk, communicate 100%. I would say talk to your partner. Um, communication is key. Talk about it. I know for a fact that you have to talk about it. Uh, have a conversation about it. <laughs> Just be honest. Like, it's the only thing ever girls want is like people to be honest with them and like tell them what's going through their head and just talk to them. She knows that you love her, so it's like, don't give up, just keep on trying and eventually you'll get there, I guess, yeah. yeah. But also, if he's like, oh, I'm not being appreciated, I'm not getting praise, I'm not being validated, is he doing that to his partner? Or is he like, ticking all those boxes and being the perfect boyfriend? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anyone's perfect, so, you know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of the girls' responses in this video. If you haven't done so yet, click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my Patreon page. Check it out, there's a whole bunch of extra content there. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.